fellow citizens of the Nigelverse, it is Hampshire once again. Uh, and so right off the bat, before we get into our discussion for today, uh, you may notice the audio is going to sound kind of uh, weird or off or maybe not as clear as it usually is. Um, is uh, and it'll be like this for the next several videos. Uh, unfortunately, the, the inevitable but very unfortunate happened. Uh, my mic finally, finally quit on me. Uh, yeah, I was hoping uh, it would hold out oh, for just a little while longer, but uh, unfortunately, it uh, it croaked. Uh, like I said, it was an inability. I saw it coming eventually, and honestly, if I'm being honest, my camera's probably next. But uh, yeah, so R.I.P. to uh, my mic. So until I get a new microphone, um, I'm just gonna be using the uh, camera mic uh, for the time being. So. Uh, it's not going to sound as clear or as pristine as I'm sure uh, some of you are used to, but uh, hopefully uh, it still sounds okay and you're still able to hear uh, me and everything that I'm saying. Uh, so, oh, uh, well, that is that. But, nevertheless, we're not going to let that stop the fact that it's Royal Rumble season, or at least approaching Royal Rumble season. Uh, and, um, if you know me, and I mentioned this before on the channel, you know I love the Royal Rumble. It's, pro it's like my favorite event of the year. And, while admittedly the 2020s haven't fully been kind to the Royal Rumble, well, um, partially because of, uh, the pandemic, and then partially because of, of, uh, Shane McMahon and his, uh, shenanigans from, uh, 2022, and then 2023 being, being good, serviceable, uh, better than, better than 2022, but still not reaching quite that upper echelon. Hopefully this year, uh, will be, uh, much better, and, um, and so far, it's shaping up to potentially be, now that we have, uh, names such as CM Punk and Cody Rhodes, uh, in the Rumble, I did a discussion on which of those two I think will win the Men's Rumble, um, also, if you haven't already, go check out that, uh, video, but as for this one, I want to talk about Surprise Entrance. Now, Surprise Entrance have been a staple of the Royal Rumble, in fact, one of the reasons why I say the, uh, 2020s haven't quite been kind to the Royal Rumble is because there's been a lack of surprise entrance, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, um, I know, uh, 2022 had pretty much none except for Shane McMahon, and it was surprising how flat that fell, and maybe, kinda, I guess, to an extent, Brock Lesnar, although, oh, once he lost the WWE Championship, I think people kinda saw where that was going. Uh, and, and 2021 did have, uh, the Hurricane and Carlito, but unfortunately it was in front of no audience. And, and um, so hopefully we get a few surprises. Now, now uh, on the flip side, I don't want them to overload it with surprises like they did for the 2015 Rumble, where it was super bloated and it was way too many surprise entrances. It was like, okay, maybe we give some of the uh, slot to the current roster. But um, but as for uh, surprise entrance, who who will show up? I've got a few uh, predictions slash people I think would be interesting to show up, and I've come up with uh, ten in total, five for the men's rumble and five for the women's rumble. Now, I'm not saying guaranteed, obviously, that these people will show up. It would be pretty nice and pretty cool if they showed up, but not a guarantee that these are exactly the people that are going to show up, uh, but, but uh, kind of more so speculation as to who could show up uh, to the Royal Rumble. So, Without further ado, uh, here's some of my predictions slash people I'd want to see uh, show up to the Royal Rumble. Uh, well, starting with the men's, uh, and then, like I said, I have five for each. So the first elect that we have for the men's is James Storm, from the Cowboy. Hey, now, James Storm, uh, I don't, I'm sure some of you may not know, who actually was there in NXT for... I don't know if it's necessarily a cup of coffee, it was more so a sip of coffee, because he only, I think, wrestled two matches for NXT, and James Storm apparently was supposed to be, uh, coming to WWE, he, uh, but I think COVID did mess that up, but, uh, will he, uh, return, or, uh, will he show up in the Rumble, well, even if it's just for a one-off, uh, maybe, um, or, or, uh, 
or actually, I don't think Bobby Roode will be in because uh, I think Robert Roode is more so stepping out of the ring, at least at this point, uh, going more to that you know producer role and stuff. But um, but will James Storm show up in the Rumble? Uh, it's anyone's guess, but we will see uh, when it comes to Storm. But it would be pretty cool to have him in the Rumble, um, and uh, uh, yeah, so. Well, uh, especially if uh, Bobby Roode does decide to return to the ring, and uh, him having a moment with James Storm in WWE, of course, uh, beer money, he would be uh, pretty cool. Uh, well, uh, uh, the next hex elect I have is Matt Cardona. Now, admittedly, because he it looks like he is a part of the NWA as well as I believe he's still with GCW. Uh, this one might be a bit of a long shot, but. But uh, Matt Cardona has kind of teased um, wanting to return to WWE at some point. He's saying, like, if the offer was there, he would return. Or, uh, will the offer be there for him to return? Uh, we will see. He, uh, but it'd be interesting to see whether or not he gets to keep his Matt Cardona name or if he will revert back to Zack Ryder, because, of course, Matt Cardona was Zack Ryder in WWE. I imagine probably the Zack Ryder name, but like, will he appear... Uh, time will tell. Uh, the third here it is Ken Shamrock. Now, oh, I know on paper, for those of you who haven't really been following, that might be a long shot. Like, Nigel, Ken Shamrock, what, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, oh, so Ken Shamrock, and we talked about this as well uh, a, couple, uh, a week or two ago. Oh, uh, him potentially returning to WWE, especially with the new merch, merch and everything. Hey, uh, hey, will this lead to a potential rumble appearance for Mr. Shamrock? Uh, 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 time will tell. Oh, uh, oh if he is uh, signing with WWE, what will they have him do? Um, who, uh, who uh, we'll find out. But uh, appearing in the Rumble, I don't think would be a bad move. Like he probably wouldn't uh, do much in the Rumble, but uh, just him making an appearance, I think, would be kind of cool. Well, a nice little throwback, of course, to the Attitude Era because WWE does love doing that uh, from time to time to time to time to time. Uh, but the ne next one, this one's a big one. Actually, the, these next two really are like really big ones. Uh, and uh, the fourth elect I have here. Might seem like a long shot, but allow me to explain. But number four is Kazuchika Okada. So, uh, Kazuchika Okada, apparently his uh, contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling is almost up. up, And so, so uh, he's kind of been exploring his options. And New Japan has, uh, has allowed him to explore potential other options if his contract does run up. Uh, same for what they did for Will Ospreay. Uh, hey, uh, hey, and it looked, and it seemed like at at one point, uh, WWE was interested in him, and it's kind of gone back and forth. Sometimes it's WWE's interested in him, sometimes it's WWE's not interested in him. Uh, but I'd argue Kasusuke Okada would be a very, very big get uh, for WWE if he's brought on board. <laughs> uh, right, so having him make a rumble appearance, even if he doesn't uh, wind up winning, which he probably won't, I think would be a pretty big deal. Or maybe even just a one-off uh, to you know test the waters how we do in WWE. <laughs> um, yeah, and obviously, you know, they probably would try to, you know, lock him down to a contract, but, uh, but even just a one-off, I think, would be cool for Mr. Okada. And the last one that we have, this one, admittedly, I'll say right off the bat, probably isn't happening, but I can dream. Hey, man, I'm sure uh, a, lot, a lot of people uh, would love for this to happen, but uh, the fifth elect and the last elect I have for the men's rumble is Big E. Now, Big E, unfortunately, um, he went down with his uh, neck injury he, uh, last year. Here, um, here uh, has been, you know, recovering and everything. Uh, supposed to, I believe, have an answer as to uh, whether or not he could uh, return to the ring. Or hang, uh, I think sometime in the next year or so. Um, so it's not definite, but him returning would be, it'd definitely be a very feel-good moment, and uh, it would definitely make a lot of people happy. He, um, he uh, is Biggie, uh, overcoming this very scary injury, and, um, and returning, uh, not just WWE, but in the Royal Rumble, well, it would be a very awesome moment. Uh, so now that the men's are up, now it's time for the women's. Uh, so, the so the first elect that we have for the women's is Mickey James. Um, so, it, oh, it wouldn't even be the, the first time, because Mickey James did make an appearance in the Rumble while she was still uh, under contract with TNA. Hey, so that was a pretty cool moment there, but uh, Mickey James showing up and... Uh, 
appearing in the Rumble, and it may not seem that far-fetched because, of course, her husband, Nick Aldis, is in WWE now as uh, GM. And so it's been speculated whether or not she will make a return to WWE. Uh, if she does, I think it'd be pretty cool. And I wonder if they'll, uh, similar to what they did for her in the, I believe, 2022 Rumble, uh, let her keep her TNA theme. Uh, you know, it was pretty cool. The only thing is, is why did they have to spoil her return? Like, why couldn't they, like, keep it fully a surprise? Uh, that never sat right with me. And, and honestly, it always, like, it always upsets me when they give away a, like, major surprise entrance. Now, uh, like, people declaring themselves for the Rumble, I think, is fine. I mean, but, like, a major surprise, something that should be a major surprise, like, isn't it totally just, uh, falls and goes to the wayside. Like, like, honestly, I'd say Cody Rhodes coming back would have been a welcome surprise. Like, people probably would have saw it coming, but, yeah, I think it would have been a welcome surpri uh, surprise. Uh, the second, uh, like we have, is Sasha Banks slash Mercedes Monet. Uh, so, oh, uh, Mercedes Monet he, uh, has kind of been, and I might interchange between uh, Mercedes Monet and Sasha Banks. And, uh, Sasha Banks, uh, but Mercedes Monet apparently was in talks with, um, with, with AEW at one point, uh, trying to figure out creative plans for her to uh, come into AEW and you know wrestle for them. And the only thing was apparently those plans had fallen through. So it looks like it, it's not a definite no, but uh, it looks like they're out of talks at least for now. But her uh, returning uh, in the Royal Rumble, well, I think would be a very massive moment, and um, <clears throat> and it's been speculated, yeah, people have tried to speculate when she'll return, if she'll even return, her and, uh, of course, she he, and uh, uh, Naomi slash Trini Fatu left under very controversial circumstances, you know, walking out and everything, um, and, but uh, her returning, I think, would be a major deal, and uh, would uh, surprise and excite a lot of people. Uh, the third one, admittedly, wouldn't be a super surprise, but uh, Jade Cargill. So Jade Cargill, uh, which, uh, real quick, shouts out to her, because unfortunately she uh, lost her mother, so uh, wishing her the best, sending my condolences to her and her family uh, at this uh, point in time. Uh, but Jade Cargill has been signed to WWE for uh, her a little bit now, uh, at least a few months. Uh, so far, has yet to who officially uh, wrestled for the company, but has been brought in, has been um, has been hyped up as a major star, has been and you know really touted as a major star. So oh, uh, now people are asking the question: When will she officially come in? Uh, we will find out. Out, uh, but her appearing in the Rumble. Oh, even if she doesn't go on to win the Rumble, which I doubt she would if she uh, entered in, I think would still be a pretty big deal and would be a nice, like, first match, you know, for uh, Jade Cargill. So kind of testing the waters for her. And I am interested to see what she does in WWE, especially compared to her time in uh, AEW. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, the next pick we have is Mandy Rose. Now, Mandy Rose on paper sounds like a no way. But it may not be as far-fetched as you think. So, Mandy Rose left was uh, was released, I believe, last year or in 2021. Uh, for, and, uh, not, I believe it was last year uh, for her risque content, if you will, uh, on um, on certain sites. It's and um, it's, and she was released for that. And, uh, all, and the reason I say it'd be kind of far-fetched is because of how much money she's been making uh, from these other endeavors, which I eh, don't know what it's uh, but and, uh, her, her making, making her money from these endeavors, or, uh, some would see, okay, they totally never coming back to WWE. But uh, apparently there was there has been something go hey, in the rumor mill that uh, she may be on her way back to WWE that uh, or at the very least WWE is interested in bringing her back. Uh, like, uh, recently it was like the anniversary, the one year anniversary of her being released, and she said it was you know a very bittersweet moment. Uh, but will she make a return? Uh, I guess time will tell. And the fifth one, and admittedly this would be a big one. And, and it's something that, considering what's happened recently, 
um, is something that a lot of people are starting to ask the question of. But the fifth elect I have is AJ Lee. He, not gonna lie, if AJ Lee did show up in the Royal Rumble, I would probably lose it. Like, I would totally mark out, freak out about everything. Like, hey, AJ Lee, definitely someone and uh, I watched growing up. Of, um, not, not really growing up, I was kind of uh, old. I think it was like tw uh, 11 or 12 uh, by the time she got to uh, the main roster. But AJ Lee having a lot of inspiration. Uh, Asian, one of the one of the major figures when it comes to women's wrestling, especially in WWE, he, and um, I guess considering uh, who her husband is, it's I guess they definitely were made for each other. Other, um, but uh, AJ Lee uh, appearing, uh, coming back. Uh, heck, uh, at the very least, CM Punk was referenced her saying AJ does send her regards, but her coming back would be would be very massive. Even if it's a one-time thing, even if she doesn't return fully, her just having a one-time appearance would still be really cool. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, who will return in the Royal Rumble? Whole time will tell. If anyone, um, but nonetheless, that's going to do it for this uh, discussion video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video so you can see as soon as it drops. Let me know in the comments below uh, who you think will return in the Royal Rumble, if anyone. Uh, it could be someone from my list. It could be someone else entirely. Uh, please let me know. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.